assalamu alaikum dear students so welcome back to learn daily physics and in our previous lecture we have derived this equation and this equation is equation 2.20 in f sen so let's see here it is you can see on your screen this is equation 2.20 we have derived in our previous lecture this one so now we are going to find this equation so moving from here to here let's start our calculation so for the average values we know that average of the sine theta is equals to 0 we are not going to prove them but we know that cos theta equals to 0 uh, theta is equals to mega c t here but in general you can say sine theta cos theta the average of sine theta cos theta equals to 0 but the average of sine square theta is equals to 1 by 2 and the cos square theta is always equals to 1 by 2 how they are equal to 1 by 2 uh, this is another proof and uh, I've proved it somewhere and it is equal to this term so we just don't have to prove them we have to recall them and we have to remember this value it's a very easy thing so then after knowing these values we have to multiply this equation when we multiply this equation inside we don't get any square value when you will multiply this one you will get a square here and a sign you will multiply with this term it will get sin omega ct and cos omega ct when we will calculate its average the average of f of x will be 0 okay the average of f of x will be 0 for us and when we will multiply this term it will give us some answer so let's multiply the average of f of x will be 0 but the average of f of y will not be 0 because when it will be multiplied with the second term it will give us the square and the square of that average will be 1 by 2 so let's multiply them so when we are going to multiply f of y with the first term we multiply this with the first term we get this thing and when we multiply this with this we get this second term as this so taking the average of this above equation when we will take the average of this above equation f of y so the average will be equals to cos average on this one and the average on this one the average of this one is equals to zero we know that cos omega ct equals to zero okay and the average of this one is equals to one by two so this term goes to zero and this term comes out to be this term with 1 by 2 so it comes to be like this with 1 by 2 now we have calculated the drift velocity in our previous lectures which was equal to e cross b into b over b square so multiplying q above and below as we know that this is a cross product so in cross product it can be it is multiplied like this scalar is multiplied with this like this so q e cross b q is equals to f and this is our force so f is equals to q e we know so f cross b is equals to q b square okay this is our formula drift uh, formula for the drift velocity center center guiding drift velocity we are now going to find out and we are what we are going to do is we are going to put f as in this average value putting this value of f here will make a term like this put this value on the place of f and you will have cancel out you will cancel out this q is cancel out by this term okay so cancelling out this q here the thing we will have is will be like this now what we will do is this you can see is a gradient i told you in my previous lecture that how this is a gradient that uh, 
uh, for example let's see it again we had a case like this we had a case like this uh, let's say these are the magnetic field lines okay outward to the page these are out to the page and this is x this one is y and this one is z so what happen is that this is the direction of gradient and the gradient is along y axis so we can write the gradient of b the gradient of b like this partial b by partial y okay this as a partial b by partial y and overall gradient we can write it as del of b partial b by partial x i plus partial b by partial j over partial b by partial y j partial b by partial k okay we know that uh, del of b is equals to how del of this is when x equals to 0 partial b by partial x equals to 0 partial b by partial z equals to 0 it is only with respect to y so we can write this for general as this as a gradient of b and we know that this is equals to partial by partial uh, gradient is equals to you can see this gradient is equals to partial b we can write this partial b by partial x i plus partial b by partial y j plus partial b by partial z k okay as these terms are zero for our case so we can write this partial b by partial y as gradient of b for the general case so they, it was b of z for this one and for general term we are having b for all the components so we can write this equation as gradient like this and b of z is replaced by the general b so now you can see that our equation of v center drift velocity is this which is our required equation which was the required equation in our book in our textbook and let's see what was that this was the equation okay the positive one for the positive charge and the negative one for the negative charge you can see here both the equations are similar to each other equation 2.24 so we have done our work now so thank you very much for your time and assalamu alaikum